KPRC2 Investigates has been researching why a law meant to better safeguard children walking home from school has actually never been used. The law was passed after the murder of 11-year-old Josue Flores. Josue was stabbed to death walking home from Marshall Middle School in HISD, and his case was recently featured on our true crime docuseries, The Evidence Room. While researching the episode, KPRC2 Investigator Robert Arnold followed up on the implementation of this law, and he joins us live now with his findings. Robert. Well, this law was written by then State Senator Sylvia Garcia, who is now a U.S. representative. In short, the law gives school districts access to extra transportation funds for students who walk to school through high crime areas. It was passed in 2017, and to date, not a single district in Texas has applied for this money. We wanted to know why. Every day, dozens of students on Houston's near north side walk home from school. Stella Mireles and other community leaders want to make sure they're safe. I pray every time because I do not want them to be victims of crime. Mireles founded Safe Walk Home after the murder of Josue Flores. And we started working with local police, local schools, uh, local house of worship, local elected leaders. The purpose was to create a network of people watching over children as they went to and from school and to report crime in the neighborhood. When, and let me say that it's not if crime is going to affect your family, it will affect your family at some time or other. To help with this grassroots effort, Texas passed Senate Bill 195. The law gives up to an additional 10% of a school district's transportation allotment to help children who don't qualify for bus service and who live in areas of higher crime. Now it's up to school districts to provide the Texas Education Agency with an explanation of why a specific area presents a higher risk of violent crime and then back it up with crime data. We approached HISD, we asked for meetings. A meeting was never granted to us. Mirella says she wanted to know why HISD never applied for these funds, as did other community leaders. So a lot of the homeless people are at the bus stops, and so the students are having to, to navigate that. And with homelessness, you don't know what what condition mind-wise that they are. So it, it makes it hard for kids to be going, going back and forth. It can be dangerous for them. We looked at Houston Police Department crime data for the areas around where Josue was killed in 2016, and the numbers aren't any better now than they were then. Yet, dozens of students still walk home, some by themselves. We asked HISD last year why it hadn't applied for these funds, and we were told it's taking an exhaustive look at all areas in the district to see which students qualify. When we asked the same question more than a year later, district officials said they were working to create the new routes following the transition, but is considering applying for additional funding. Let's not let this legislation, you know, get cold like it is. Let's, let's get it warmed up. Let's get it back into the hands of the community. As for the author of the law, Congresswoman Sylvia Garcia tells us it's disheartening that HISD, the school district that Josue Flores attended, hasn't been able to obtain these funds. I'm hopeful school districts will do everything possible to access these funds to create a safe environment for our children. And we check with several other school districts in our area, and the answers vary as to why they haven't applied for these funds. You can read those responses on click2houston.com. Yeah, many times parents, they can't. They simply cannot be picking up their kids and dropping them off, and so Absolutely, and worry. this is, you know, for the kids who are within that two-mile zone mm -hmm. that don't qualify for busing. Right, and it's interesting the, dif the different district responses you can read on Click2Houston as to why they haven't applied for the funds. Yeah, we need as many resources as possible, mm -hmm. for yeah. sure. Mm -hmm. Robert, thank you. Absolutely.